everyone. We're going to use mathematical induction to prove the property for all positive integers in. And the first thing I'm going to do is check for condition one, um, or statement one, conjecture one, that n equals one. And when you plug that in, you get two to the four times one minus two plus one. And that's going to be four, uh, two squared plus one which equals 5. Since 5 divides 5, that means 5 is a factor of 5. Now we're going to assume that 5 is a factor of 2 to the 4k minus 2 plus 1. So assume that 5 is a factor. That means when we um, do k plus 1, we want, we want to get it back looking like this. Okay, so we're going to try n is k plus 1. So we have 2 to the 4k plus 1 minus 2. Oops, that's not a k, that's a 4. Okay, plus 1. Now, cleaning this up. I'm going to write this as uh, 2 to the 4k plus 4 minus 2 plus 1. On top of that, I want to write this as, uh, I want to write it like this. So what we have is 4k plus 2. So what I'm going to do is write it as 2 to the 4k minus 2 times um, 4 or 2 to the 4th plus 1. So this is 16. I'm going to write that out on this slide here. So I'm going to have 2 to the 4k minus 1 minus 2 times 16 um, plus 1. Now, I want to go ahead and write this with the 1, so I'm going to get 2 to the 4k minus 2 plus 1 plus 15 times 2 to the 4 um, basically 4k minus 2 and um, because this would have equaled your 16 and now we have it all separated out we know that this is divisible by 5 already we also know that this is divisible by 5 so since it's a factor of 5 for both uh, our sums then we can assume that it's a factor of the whole thing. So 5 is a factor of 2 to the 4n minus 2 plus 1 for all integers, positive integers. Okay? And that's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.